Welcome. We got the hybrid Raptor here. This is one I want to check out. We got the new Ankylosaurus Bash and Biter. Check out Vic, uh, Victoria Cantina's channel. She did a nice review on this. I'll have to say it looks like crap. Wait, it's not 25 bucks, is it? Nah, it can't be. There's the Bash and Biter. It's got nothing but Ankylosaurus. This is what I really want to check out. They got the new Terra Mimus figure. I'm going to pull this guy out and look at it. Alright, so this is actually really cool looking. You can see the colors. Got the wing there. See what it does. Same sounds. Too bad. Same sounds as the Morphodon. Still, some of an interesting figure. I mean, it's got a really way too loose of a head but still has a pretty interesting sculpt and coloring it's still kind of beautiful it's better than the capture pteranodon let's see what it says teramimus hybrid dinos battle for survival same thing as all the other crab lads so that's all we got here we got just a bunch of stomping strikes and uh, indominus rex Got the Alpha Cycle Pack down there. Looking for the Gabriel Van Helsing figure set. I saw the other alternate figure over there, so I'm looking around. Got a Batman Unmasked figure right here. It's pretty cool. He's got a spear or something there. And here we got a Christopher Reeve Superman figure. That's pretty nice. Pause if you want to see that. We do have this here, the Lucy Vet Westerna. I don't remember her that much, but it's still a cool figure. It's a while looking for the Van Helsing figure. Pause that if you want to read it. Too bad, I really wanted the Van Helsing. There's Scar Predator. Not getting him this time, but he's the Predator I want to start my collection off with. Here we got the only two real Aliens figures. Three we got here. We got Vasquez. Been seeing a lot of her around. Got that really cool smart gun with the effects read that if y'all want also available and they're all here too this wave too bad they didn't include newt that was kind of stupid on NECA's part and here we go check out frost here rico private ross okay figure but i'd rather have hicks or something on one of those other colonial marines There's the albino drone xenomorph. Just pretty cool figure. Pretty well detailed. This isn't the one I want to get though. I want to get the uh, alien AVP warrior. I know this is uh, based off of concept art. So that's really cool. And it comes with that really weird tongue thing there. Oh man, check these guys out. We got the Schleich Dimetrodon. Check out Unhauled and Domus' channel, he's got one. It's, I have to say in real life, it's not really that impressing. I prefer the Papo Dimetrodon. Never seen this guy before. We got a new Styracosaurus figure, too. There's the new Spino back there. Here's the new Dilophosaurus, which isn't too bad. It's got some pretty cool sculpting work on here. I'd rather spend my money on the Papo one though. Still not too bad of a figure, kind of interesting looking. This is the one I really like. Barapasaurus. This thing is a thick figure, really well colored. I never even heard of this one coming out from Schleich. A really nice sculpt on the head. It's really cool. I end up way too much for me right now, though. Almost 30 bucks. It's still a really cool figure. I'm going to check it out. Cool bit right too. I have this. Alright, here we got the new repainted Giganotosaurus figure, which is a really nice figure, actually. Really like this guy. Really cool. Let's see. There's his mouth open. It's a really, really nice figurine. Here's the next to the Barapasaurus. Yeah, I just want to 
I'm doing a toy hunt video real quick. Are you sure you want the book? Yeah, it was really well detailed. Just got home, just for everybody. Nira, she's got her mouse. As you can see she just swallowed it already. Everyone's eating. We're finishing eating. I gotta clean that tank out tomorrow. Algae just grows weekly, man. Just fed that little guy. He's, as you can see, he's gobbling up blood worms. But yeah, just gotta siphon it all out and clean it out. No, it'll be fine. Turtles are out. Gotta scrub their tank for algae as well. But as you know, I went to Toys R Us today and all that. I didn't get anything, mainly because I was saving up for this. Now, when I went to Sam's, as you usually do when you get bored, you look for whatever you get, and since they don't have any toys or anything there, they just have books. And since I love dinosaurs, I, did, I bought another book about uh, way back in like January or so. This is my little tree frog I caught. I'm keeping him there for just a little bit. I want to get him on video and all that. But I bought this book, which is a very great book. I strongly advise any dinosaur lovers to pick this up. It's really good. It's got a lot of great uh, art in here. I'll have to do a review on all these books. Maybe these were books I was reading. It's got a lot of great art. A lot of cool stuff in here about different dinosaurs. Let's see. Not just dinosaurs. There's also... Uh, Cenozoic creatures and all that as well as you can see. Got Andrew Sarkis there. Mesohippus. Got uh, Megasur uh, <clears throat> Megasaurops and Bolotherium. There's Indricotherium, also known as Paraceratherium or Percaratherium, I think it's called. It's the largest land mammal ever. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. In this book specifically. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Got Basilosaurus here. Remember watching Walking with uh, Prehistoric Beasts, and that's one of the animals in there. It's so beautiful, animal in that. Thalcosmilus. Then you got Thalosochnus, which was a sea dwelling sloth. Uh, Peltophilus, a weird looking armadillo. Let's see. We got uh, Ceratogallus. It's a weird little groundhog with horns. I wonder if we got, uh, where is, there's some other animal I also want to show y'all. Got Calicathere. ton of really cool animals in here. Macrochenia. really want to go through this with y'all. It's such a great bug. I, I mean, it's, it's so awesome. Y'all need to pick it up. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, what is its name? Syntha... Tesseras, Synthetoceras, Synthetoceras, okay. I mean, look how weird these animals are. We've got Civetherium here. I'm trying to look for some of the other creatures. We got, uh, the, uh, they're called by many names. Got Gompotherium here. Let's see. I'm trying to look for one specific page. Cotonary. There's a uh, Megalania. Got Titanus, the largest of the. No, uh, I forget what its name is. We've got Prosoptodon here. The, a 12 foot tall kangaroo. We've got Diprotodon. Glyptodon, Megatherium, we got Elasmotherium. Where is it? We got Megalosaurus, that was one I was trying to think of. Uh, I know I had. We got Smilodon. I had. If you want us to clear that page, uh, let me find it. Maybe it didn't have Titanoboa. Let's see. There's some other cool creatures in there that. Melonia. Let's see. But turn back time a little bit. Let's see if there's any other interesting animals we can go through. Wonder where's Castorides? Castorides should be in here. I mean, this is a great encyclopedia, though. It's so great. I mean, anyone would enjoy just reading it 
learning about the different animals. The giant beaver, I can't find it though. There's Arson Ethereum. Let's see if we can scroll up here. Uh, hold on. There's Dinosuchus and Stomatosuchus. I'm trying to find uh, one specific page. Hold on. Here we go. Spinosaurus. This is the only Spinosaurus we got in here. We got Irritator. Spinosaurus, Baryonyx, and Sukumimus. Really cool. So I, I really recommend picking out this book. It is such an awesome encyclopedia. But anyway, I picked this book up. Dinosaur, the definitive visual guide. Now, I tried looking for this on Amazon and every other uh, place, and I could never find it. It's only it's 20 bucks, but it's a really good buy. As you can see here. That's a really cool artwork. I know this is the artwork of a Troodon. Really cool. This is very in depth. You got geological uh, science. You got. Let's see, just going through here real quick. Temperature, fossils. And look at that thing. Opabinia. It's a weird looking sucker. Look at this thing. Wawaxia. Okay, it's a weird looking thing. And do not know what the crap that thing is. And it shows you the size too. These things are very small. Darn it, hold on. Come on, there we go. They're only like the size of our fingers. And that thing is just completely weird. It's called a Morella. Hold on. It's kind of a quick go through of this book. Uh, Ordovician. Kind of speeding through it. Look at this weird thing. Silarian. Devonian's where everything gets cool. Here we go. Got ammonite there. Got trilobites. Xenaspis. Really weird. Uh, armored fish. We got Stethacanthus, the, uh, what is it, the anvil fin shark. It's a weird looking shark. Steve Altman will put that in one of his Meg books. Dunkleosteus, of course. And by the way, speaking of Dunkleosteus, I checked out the Schleich Dunkleosteus. I forgot they were actually coming out with that. That thing is awesome looking. That's probably one of the best likes I've ever seen. And I really want to get it because it is so lifelike. We got this really cool looking uh, amphibious fish. Ichthyostega, I know that one. Alright, this is Carboniferous. I'm just kind of speeding through it a little bit. Cassegrinus. You may remember this, Cassegrinus scoticus from that episode of Prehistoric Park. Here's the size of it. I'm kind of looking through it too. I read it one time while you were, there's an amphibious snake. We got this little guy. Microbrachis there. We got Proterogrinus. And Permian, this should be like uh, Scutosaurus and uh, man, look at that thing. Xenocanthus, that's a weird looking fish. Dimetrodon, and I was pretty sure this is Eriops. I'm going to read the. Yep, it's, I'm right. It was Eriops. I can t almost tell instantly from that skull. I'm pretty sure that's a Diplocolis. So, yeah, it says right there. I know most of these species. 
Varanops, I remember this because of the uh, Varanus, which is the term for monitor lizards. Got Scutosaurus here. May remember this guy from the first episode of Primeval. And of course, we got one of the biggest paleontological uh, uh, creatures. We got Dimetrodon. We should have. Moscops, Daphosaurus, but they don't show anything. They just show a little Daphosaurus there. Let's see. Can I speak through? We haven't even gone to the dinosaurs yet. So I hope you all enjoying this. I'm just scrolling through, looking through everything. Adonna Kelly's Mastodonosaurus. I remember that. What is that? Cerichthys. Okay, it's a type of gar. That's pretty cool. Trying to open it. Let's see. Tenny Strophius, I recognize that guy. So we got Postasuchus here. Euparcaria. Parasuchus, Ornithosuchus. There's Ornithosuchus. Alright, this Ephigia. Okay, I haven't heard of this guy. Got Eoraptor, got Udimorphodon, got Herrerasaurus, Terrestriosuchus, Stericosaurus, there's Robert Backer, Platiosaurus, that's pretty cool, and there's Gojirosaurus, of course it's named after Godzilla since it was discovered in Japan. Let's see, we've got some really cool animals, got Placarius. We're on the Jurassic now. Hybotus shark. I remember this guy. Ischiatus. Lezichthys, the gigantic armor plated fish. Such a really cool book. It's an odd looking prehistoric fish. What is this? A snapping turtle. Physiosaurus and Lyplerodon. Oh yeah, Mary Anning, I remember this. She used to discover uh, fossils in England. She's one of the first female paleontologists, really. She would gather fossils and sell them for money. Prosuchus and Dacosaurus. You got Dilophosaurus here. Cryolophosaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs. Allosaurus. One of the Lesties and Guanlong. I remember when Guanlong was discovered. Archaeopteryx. Uh, this is funless. We got Brachiosaurus here. Verapasaurus, that was that other schleich that we saw today at uh, Toys R Us. It's pretty cool. I I so love that uh, yeah, Stegosaurus. That schleich Dunkleosteus. I mean, that thing was just so awesome. Got Gargoylosaurus up there. And now we're on to Cretaceous. We barely covered half the book. And it's so cool that they cover the shells and plants and everything, all that, before they get to the actual animals. Oh, Bill's a buffoo. I remember this. This is a, a ancient frog. Why isn't it in here? They don't have a picture or anything to scale it with. That's kind of stupid. They're native to Madagascar in South America. We got a species of gar here. Got Squally Corax. I have a Squally Corax tooth in my collection as well. Zivactinus, that's an awesome prehistoric tooth fish. We got Kitsikawatlis here. And great artwork as well. We got Dinosuchus here. Just 
really great uh, artwork. We got Ornithokyrus. Spinosaurus, even though this model is outdated. That size chart looks awesome. Even though it's severely outdated, it's still cool. We got Irritator and Sucomimus, Baryonyx, Carcharodontosaurus, Chiganotosaurus, and Acrocanthosaurus. Albertosaurus and Carnotaurus there. Now I guess we're on to Tyrannosaurus. That's Tarbosaurus. Struthiomimus and Gallimimus. This is a really cool book, but I doubt that y'all will really be able to get it that easily. I, I mean, I can't find it anywhere except for uh, the Sam's I went to. And it's so well detailed. It's so... It's probably the best dinosaur book I've ever found. We got Microraptor, Argentinosaurus, Amargosaurus. This is a cool animal. We got an Amegasaurus here. Gotta kind of speed through it a little bit as well, because we're out of time. I want to try and get to the end a little bit. Got Carithosaurus, Triceratops, Ineosaurus. Let's see. Got some prehistoric mammals. We got Vagavis, Ichthyornis, all that. Pachycephalosaurus. Alright, let's see. Let's go through here. Go through these shells real quick. Prehistoric freshwater eel, that's really cool. Mean, that's a really weird looking little fish. Looks like a prehistoric garami, is what it looks like. That's awesome. Stingray. Look at this weird little thing. Looks like a turtle fish. Hey, there's Titanoboa. Here it is. It just doesn't have anything with it. There it is. I'll have to remember that. It's on page 319. We got Diatrima, prehistoric terror bird, I believe, isn't Diatrima a terror bird? We got uh, Uintotherium, we got, uh, remember its name, Akira Nycteris. We got Andrew Sarks up here. Gotta try and speed it up a little bit though, we got more Ethereum there, it's a really weird looking animal. We're almost there to the end, so I think we have enough time. Carcharodon. We're missing out Megalodon. Carcharodon, Megalodon. The Monster Shark. Got Dalek Smilus. This is a really cool animal. This is Argentavis. One of the largest birds ever. 11 foot long wingspan. Man. A lot of people believe it's what inspired the Thunderbird legend. We got this weird little guy called Ceratogallus, which I showed you all in the other book. Weird little gopher beaver deer. We got, uh, it's called Paraceratherium in this book, so. Same animal. Really cool animal. So big and powerful. Got Calicothere in this book. Let's see, we've got Dinotherium, a really cool prehistoric elephant. And now we're on to King, uh, Quartinary. I almost said Cambrian. we got Megalania here, this is pretty cool, it's one of my favorite prehistoric animals. A 20 foot long monitor lizard. There's Castoroides, but I think he's on... That's the size comparison between Castoroides and a common beaver. It's amazing. A giant beaver. Oh, here it is. Castoroides, that's how big it is compared to a human. Can you imagine what the Duck Dynasty guys would say to that? Toxodon, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool animal. Remember it from Prehistoric Park. Dinornis, which is one of the largest species of moa birds. Got a mummified foot there. Got Teratorn. Got Glyptodon. Got the Canis, which is technically a dire wolf. We got Arctotus, which is the short faced bear. Then we got Megatherium. Got Smilodon here. There's a mummified baby elephant, or a 
a mammoth. There's the big one. There's a skeleton. This is Megaloceros, the prehistoric deer. It's bigger than a moose. And then you got Celadonta. This is the woolly rhinoceros. I don't see a Lasmotherium here, which is oh, kind of weird. Huge. That's a huge horse. Holy crap. Apparently it's a relative of the Przewalski's wild horse. So I don't see anything else, I guess. And then we got the Gigantopithecus, which you may have seen in the Jungle Book. Since it's related to... Uh, gorilla, uh, orangutans, and here's the glossary, basically, words, and then it's also got, it has another whole, that's the glossary, and then this is the dinosaur list, which I kind of, I'm kind of disappointed that it only has the dinosaur list and not all the other prehistoric animals that are in here, but it does have, uh, dinosaurs, and I'm not seeing any of the prehistoric am mammals or there's Cychania. I want to see what that is. I mean, there's just hundreds of dinosaurs in this list. Yeah, but it does not have the thing for uh, the other Ice Age animals and all that. You'll have to look through this, I guess. Just not find them. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed looking through this little book of mine. I'm glad to have gotten it. It's a really cool book. I mean, look how big this thing is. It's huge. If you can find it, get it, because you're probably never going to find it anywhere else. So it's a really cool book. I'm going to finish feeding everybody, and I'm going to go to bed. And anyway, remember to like, come subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. All right, hold on just a second.